Okay, so during the week I had the car serviced. I had a major service done on it. Um, I had the small coolant leak fixed and I had my air conditioning unit changed. I know some people in the comments are saying that I'm crazy for replacing it, but now I have brand new switches, new model. Yeah, so during the week I had the car, it had a major service done. Um, everything was fixed, the coolant leak, uh, the washer pump, the front washers were fixed, um, and the air conditioning unit which I just showed you. So everything now is up to... it's uh, like new, it's like new. Um, yes, it is very shiny, and yes, I did put another layer of wax on it last night, only because a friend of mine told me you should layer and layer the wax. So. I've just put it on to protect it. It does have the protective film in the rear and the front, so that should help. Um, yeah, so we're going for a big drive tomorrow. Going with my friend uh, Natasha and I, and my friend, uh, he's taking his GT3, so we're going for a bit of a drive down to... Okay, so <clears throat> I'm filming in the car, so the light is probably a bit strange because it's got the overhead light on, and um, I was going to take the car for a bit of a drive, I have actually been on a drive today, I went up to the central coast of New South Wales, so it's about two hours outside of Sydney. Um, it was a good drive, went on the expressway, you know, went through some of the back roads, so it was actually quite nice. It's just that it's very, very hot in Sydney today. It's uh, 35 degrees, but it feels like, it feels like about 40 degrees Celsius. So I was going to take the car out again and, and film this outside, but um, I might do some filming tomorrow, like I said, when we go on this... Um, this Porsche drive with my friend and his GT3, so <laughs> I think we might do some we might do some filming tomorrow. Uh, I'll have to ask him first that he's okay with it, but um, otherwise I'll film I'll film the our car. Um, yeah, so I've been thinking about mods to get. I mean, I'm not going to go too crazy. I, you know, I really appreciate all the um, all the comments about the exhaust. Obviously, the Gundo is it. Uh, there's also the Fister one, which I think is the same. I kind of like the Fister one. It has uh, you can get the ceramic coating. So you can choose four colors for the ceramic coating. So basically, divide in Australia I would have to... I can purchase it. They send it across. Uh, this is Fista and um, or FD Motorsports, whatever they're called. And they will send it across and then they will... Then I'll get it installed. Then I have to send my cores back to them, my exhaust back to them. But um, from the links that everyone sent me, the that sort of mod is is very good for the price. So I think I'll go with that. I would like to get some more leather and carpet inside as well, which I'm looking at, looking into now. Yeah, so I think with the, um, I think with the carbon, I will get the uh, door seals in carbon. I really like the door seals. Natasha likes the stainless steel or the aluminium. I think they're stainless steel, they're not aluminium. Um, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. But um, I'm kind of keen on the carbon. The only thing with the carbon is I think you can't just get the carbon seals. You need some more carbon. So I was thinking about doing the carbon uh, cup holders and also outside where just below the windscreen wipers there's some plastic which I think you can also get in carbon. It's quite expensive so I'm, this is going to be a very slow process. I like the idea of getting a little bit more leather inside. There's a, there's a website called Exclusive Option that my friend has bought stuff from for his GT3. Um, I'll put the link down below if you're interested, if you haven't heard of it before. Exclusive Option has all the leather parts for the 997 or whatever model 911 you have. Um, there's also DB Carbon, which is does all the carbon for the Porsches for the 911s. Um, they're really reasonable. Um, I'll probably get the seal, the seal from them and some carbon from them. Um, my friends purchased from them, they're in Germany. You know, it's really good quality. It's really good quality. You can get the uh, carbon in gloss, or you can get it in matte. Um, if you want matte on the outside, obviously Porsche carbon is gloss, so it's probably best to have the gloss on the inside if you have other carbon. I have no carbon in this car. It's all, it's literally all the plastic. I mean, you've seen it, right? It's just this plastic. So this is all the plastic finish. And the dials, around the dials here is also plastic. I mean, I do have the door sill. I'll film it better in a second. I mean, it's quite dark down here, but this is the this is the door sill that I have now, which is the standard door sill. If you get the carbon, this is in carbon, and it still has the Carrera logo. I also got this fixed as well. This switch was broken, so that's a new switch, which I ordered from Suncoast with the air conditioning unit. The other piece of carbon that I really like too is this piece here. You can get this piece in carbon, so you keep the silver door handle, but you actually get this in carbon, which is really nice. I think that is a possibility. 
this <coughs> this area here you can also buy in carbon which is what I was thinking of doing here The only, other, the only other option that I'm thinking about is getting uh, personalized or, or premium number plates as they're called here. Uh, they can work out to be quite expensive. You've got to pay a yearly fee and a, and a purchase fee. Um, but I think they'll add to the car, so I'm going to get some black plates. Um, probably just four letters. I'm trying to work that out now. Sorry, but I was downstairs in our garage. It is so hot down there. I have to go back up to the apartment. It's just, it's just too hot to film. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm perspiring. Um, let me just finish this here and let's start again in the apartment. Okay, so it seems like the general consensus is that the wheels look okay. Some people really hate them, some people say they look fantastic, and I think some of the comments people just don't say anything. But um, the wheels are there to stay, the wheels are going to be on the car for at least the next... Uh, I don't know, at least eight months, 12 months. That's if they get changed at all. I actually quite like them. Um, the ride is actually quite good, even though they're 20 inch. Um, the car feels really good on the road. It feels really tight. Uh, and really, really rough back roads here in Australia. Obviously, it, it, it is quite a hard ride. But in general, the ride is actually quite good. In fact, in some ways, it's actually better than the Audi that I had before. I mean, if I was going to change to factory wheels, um, Porsche factory wheels, uh, I kind of like the Sport Classic, um, the black Sport Classic wheels that run the 911 Sport Classic. So they're almost like the old um, 80s wheel, and but they're quite glossy, they're quite shiny. Um, I like that wheel. Uh, the original wheel that came on the car was, I found from the sticker inside the trunk, were the 19 inch, the multi-spoke one. Ah, sorry, the multi-spoke one. I think they're called the Sport Classic or or something like that. That was the original wheel on the car. Um, I don't really like the S Lobster wheels. Um, I have seen some online where people have had the center of them sprayed uh, black. Some shiny black, some matte black. Um, I think some of the wheels on the new 991 Carrera are really nice. The 20 inch wheels are very, very nice. Um, I'm not kind of... I'm not sure whether you should put a wheel on a Porsche from a different generation. I mean, I don't see any difference in doing that to the wheels that are on there now, really. In my mind, they're pretty, it's a pretty much the same thing. Um, I know a lot of people prefer that the wheels were Porsche and not Tech Art. Um, if you're going to get wheels for the 997, I think they have to be a 997 wheel. I don't think it's a problem if you've got a GT3 997 wheel or a Turbo 997 wheel, but I think it should be of the same generation. Um, but saying that, you know, unfortunately that some of the 999, some of the 991 20 inch wheels are actually really, really nice. But I think if the wheels were changed, uh, it would mean going back to 19 inch, not 20 inch. Uh, I don't see any point in changing them for a 20 inch Porsche wheel so I think it would be going back to a 19 inch wheel primarily probably to save cost on tires because I did check the price of the rear tires and they are very very expensive uh, very very expensive <laughs> okay so that's it for today just a um, just a quick update on what's been happening in the past week I posted my um, bought a 911 video one week ago today so this is just an update um, on the wheels, some of the options or mods that I would like to get, and in general the car is fantastic. i um, going for a long drive again tomorrow, um, so we'll try and make a video. We'll make a video actually and um, post that in the next few days. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye. Okay. One thing I forgot to say is um, Thank you for all the support for watching the uh, Border 911 video. It's probably one of my uh, best videos to date in that it's had the largest amount of views in the smallest amount of time. So that's very encouraging. Uh, doing videos for YouTube is not easy. Um, sharing these things sometimes is quite hard. But uh, all the comments and all the, all the positive comments and all the support from you guys has actually helped, um, helped the journey. Thanks. See you.